Good morning and welcome to What AM, your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, sports, campus events, and your daily weather outlook. I'm Nathan Bowman. There's a new concern for millions of people struggling to pay their rent amid the pandemic. A federal judge overturned a national eviction ban yesterday, but then put her ruling on hold for a few hours later. She agreed to give landlords a week to file legal papers opposing a longer delay. The Justice Department is also appealing her decision. President Biden had extended the moratorium on evictions until June 30th. Debris from a space rocket is falling back to Earth and expected to crash on Saturday, but researchers aren't exactly sure where it'll land. In fact, they won't know until a few hours before. The rocket was used to help take the main module of China's space station into orbit last week. And now the U U.S. is tracking a 100-foot-long section, the largest since 1991. Experts say the risk of someone getting hit by the wreckage is pretty small. The Sioux City Farmer's Market kicked off yesterday. A downpour of rain didn't stop a stream of people from checking out produce, plants, food, and other offerings. The Farmer's Market continues every Wednesday and Saturday through the end of October from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. A Des Moines County jail inmate is being charged with hiding contraband in his cell. 48-year-old Raymond Lee Edwards, Jr. was charged with the felony after deputies found a bolt and a pointed weapon during a search of the jail cell. He was already being held on felony sex abuse charges. The additional charge is felony possession of contraband in a correctional facility. When we come back, we will take a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. Stay with us. What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to yet another edition of the unnamed show featuring John and Jason. Look, if you like going into a radio show every day not knowing whether or not you're going to get the best or worst radio of your life, then this is the show for you. It's quickly put together, it's rushed, it's on the fly, airing 3 to 4 on Wednesday, 1 to 2 on Fridays. You can even go on Twitter and follow us at Unnamed Podcast J. Even though there is so much against us, you will see me wearing a face covering. And even with my face covered, you will see me as a son, as a friend to everyone I meet, as a fighter for change, as a woman who stands up for what I believe in. So join me in wearing a face covering to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Because this is one small act of kindness that has the power to bring us all together. I'm Connor Spike. Make sure to visit youtube.com slash wittv and click on the bell so you don't miss me on the next episode. See you later. Sweet dreams. Welcome back. In entertainment news, better late than never, that's what Prince William and Kate Middleton say about their new YouTube channel. The royal couple launched it with a 25 second video showing a montage of them at various events over the years. It starts off with the prince jokingly reminding his wife to be careful what she says, since it's all being filmed. This comes days after the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge shared a video of them playing with their three children. It was a thank you to fans who sent congratulations on their 10th wedding anniversary. The couple also ditched their Kensington Royal Instagram handle for Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. A Missouri couple is safe after making an explosive discovery in their yard. On Facebook, Pamela Coffey said she was gardening at her Jefferson County home last week when she uncovered a World War II-era Japanese Navy motor. She called the Sheriff's Department for help, which turned into a major response that included the ATF and Air Force. 
Turns out the old bomb was still alive and had a blast range of 500 feet. Coffey said they were told it was a super rare find, but also lucky they weren't hurt by the bomb. Taking a look at today's weather, today we will see some sunshine with a high of 65, and tonight the sky will be mostly clear with a low of 39. And then tomorrow, we'll see some sunshine again with a high of 68 degrees. Today, the representative from Morningside will be on campus from 8 to noon. Briarcliff will also be here from 10 to noon. They will both be found inside the library. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Enjoy your day.